Hi there, it's Patrick and welcome to The Art of Bourbon. In today's video, we're going to look at Buffalo Trace and Blanton's. Is Blanton's worth the price upgrade over Buffalo, regular Buffalo Trace? Both are by the Sazerac Company, so this should be kind of a fun little trial. So Buffalo Trace over here is 90 proof, um, pretty available for most people to get. Um, the average retail price on that is somewhere around $30, $35 a bottle. Very affordable, um, very usable for mix-ins like um, old fashions and things like that. Let's give this a nose and see what we get out of it. Definitely getting a little bit of vanilla spice out of it. Subtle baking spices. It has a little complexity to it. Let's go ahead and give that a taste. has some interesting oaky notes to it as well. Um, there is definitely the baking spices on the palate on this one. Um, the finish was a little more harsh than I would like um, for this, but it is a pretty versatile bourbon. Let's go ahead and give the Blanton's a, a comparison just to see the difference here. The nose is a little more subtle on this one. It's not as aggressive on that. Definitely getting oak, maybe some notes of toffee. A little more refined on the palate. It definitely has a little bit of baking spices in there too, so let's give this one a shake. It's a very different animal actually. They're really hard to compare the two. Um, this one is definitely more smooth, but yet more complex at the same time. It has definitely more spice notes triggering in there. Mm, very nice. Long finish on this, a very delectable finish. Um, the color on the two is very comparable. They're both very kind of a light, kind of a honey yellow color. Um, the legs are a little bit different. The legs tend to run a little bit more with the Blantons on here on the glass. Um, overall, is Blantons worth twice what Buffalo Trace is? Um, in my opinion, if you want to savor and uh, savor it, yeah, absolutely. I think that the, the, for for around. 65 to 70 dollars or so Blanton's is a good solid choice for a bourbon um, there are other choices in that price range that will give Blanton's a good run for the money if you're looking for maybe a more oaky more vanilla one um, maybe something more like an Elijah Craig or um, some of the wild turkey offerings too could give this a run for the money too this Buffalo Trace for the price point of around 30 dollars is very solid It's definitely got more oak on the front nose um, and the taste it's definitely hitting more oaky with a little bit of more of the the cardamomy um, nutmeg kind of baking spices more in the Ford palette the finish is a medium on that one I'm gonna go back to this one one more time for another comparison it's opening up a little bit more it's a little bit of more of a a vanilla, a little bit of toffee, a little a hair sweeter smelling on this one too, so that's kind of interesting. This one is definitely a, a definitely a smoother drinking bourbon. Um, you can do a lot with this one. Just sit around and, and um, you could drink it neat. Some people like to add a little bit of water to release a little bit more, make it a little more approachable. What adding water does is it drops the proof down a little bit and makes it more approachable. Um, I have personally blended both of these in old fashions before. Not taboo. If you like it, you like it, and it works. Um, both make fantastic old fashions. Um, and I will have to make another video soon for you to show you what my, my specific old fashioned is like. It's a pretty cool recipe. Um, so let's go back to the core of this video. Um, is Blanton's worth the hype, and is it worth twice what Buffalo Trace is worth. In my opinion, if you have the funds and you can do it, yeah, absolutely. And, and the availability. This is definitely more of an allocated bottle and hard to get. Um, it, it's very distinguishable. The, the bottle has these little facets on it. Clear bottle um, has the horse up here. And each of these horses, if you didn't know, has a letter at the bottom. And they do spell out the word Blanton's if you collect them all. And you can buy some um, um, some holders to like, show off the toppers. And just, just to show you guys, I actually was able, lucky enough to get a bottle or two of this. I won one in a raffle and one, I stood in line for a long time too. This is what a Blanton's Gold looks like. 
Um, the horse is gold. Other than that, um, the proof point's a little bit higher than 103. It is fantastic. If you can get one of these, I highly recommend it. But let's go back to the source video. Is it worth it? I think the answer is yes. Blanton's is worth, I think, twice what Buffalo Trace is. If you're looking for an everyday drinker or a mixer, Buffalo Trace is fantastic for that, and I can't, uh, can't recommend that enough for that. Uh, because it would get really expensive to use Blanton's in all your mixing. Because, you know, it starts at $70 a bottle, roughly. Um, so um, so that's all for this, this Art of Bourbon this week. And this is Patrick. Cheers.